So as anyone that has lived in Tennessee, especially East Tennessee, can tell you, the weather here changes dramatic and fast. So yesterday we were up close to the upper 60s, maybe even hit lower 70s. And today we're in the upper 20s to lower 30s. So that is weather in Tennessee. But we did go get some baby chicks. I put a short out about that if you haven't seen it. And the problem is, is I think it's too cold for them. So today we're going to go through the process of putting together our new, what I'm going to call our forever brooder of how we're going to set it up. I'll share that with you today and see your thoughts and see what you think about our setup. All right, here we go. So to give you an idea of what we got going on here today, we went and got this 180 gallon plastic water tank and it's basically used to feed cattle or to, or to water your cattle or whatever but this is going to be our going forward chicken brooder because we are planning on getting new baby chicks every year so we just got this today it's 180 gallon if you got a smaller scale chickens you're going to get you can probably get by with something a lot smaller but we got a really good deal on this one so we grabbed it and as you can see we done got the bedding in it and we actually put our food and water stuff up on little uh pieces of wood just so all the stuff that they're going to scratch around aren't going to get in here but this will give them a whole lot more room to play right now we've got 14 to move over here but we've got 25 more on the way so that's why we wanted something just a little bit bigger i will show you their current setup so we actually have them in here and we do have heat lights on them right now as well just because it is so cold here today I am not a huge fan of heat lights, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, but there is 14 chickens in here. I did a little short on them a few days ago, so you can check that out if you wanted to see them up close, but, and once we get them over in the other brooder, you'll see, but we're also going to add a producer's pride heating, I guess, lamp, or it's not a lamp, it's more of a pad, and I'll show that right here in just a minute, but this will kind of get us started, so that's the goal is to get these girls because all these are girls over here so they've got more room and we'll have more room when the new chickens arrive so we will get some stuff going and bring you back and show you what we got so here is the little piece i was talking about adding in to keep them warm so this is the producer's pride chicken coop heater and brooder and you can kind of see what it is and basically we're going to use it in this form right now and we do we have used one of these in, in another coop that we have for our current chickens and it worked really well but the ones that's in like this, the chickens can actually go underneath it and it basically simulates setting under their mom setting on them more or less to keep them warm. But just to kind of give you an overview and I will put a link if they got these on Amazon, I'm not sure. We actually went today to buy this from uh, Tractor Supply just cause we had to. Uh, we needed something quick and this is the one that we found and we've had good luck with it so far. But I will show you what it looks like when we pull this out of the box and they're very easy to put together. It's electric powered, so very simple. But unlike a heat light, there's not going to be any chance of fire with this. So that's a huge plus to this. Turn, turn around. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but this is how cold it is. His bald head is smoking. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to open this up. I'll show you what's inside. So basically, you just pull out this little tab that Jessica just showed me. I was going to cut it up with a knife. We'll pull this guy out, maybe. Hung here. There it comes. So as you can see, there's really not much to it. I mean, it kind of just is what it is. And you pull this off. So basically this here is the pad that's going to get hot or it's going to get basically to the point of like setting their mother setting on them to keep them warm that's what it is going to stimulate you can see it is a pretty big area so plenty of room for all the chickens to get underneath it here is the electrical cord and more or less you got a heater so this is what we actually got our roosters one of our roosters using the other one for right now he's using it on heater mode which gets to a lower temperature. It's for the bigger chickens just to keep them warm if it gets too cold. But when you turn it on brooder mode, that is where it stimulates the mom. So that's what we're gonna be using here today. So then the other piece of it is these little stands that come with it. And more or less, these are the ones, I think if you're gonna stand it up yeah. right, those are the ones that you would use, Thanks but since we're going to have it down flat, we're actually going to use these right here. 
And they're adjustable. Yeah, and these are adjustable to the high. So the height of the chicken. You can put them down to, you know, as the chickens do start getting bigger, you can raise them up three different levels just to kind of adjust so they can all still fit underneath it. These little pegs right here will actually go in the corners to make it stand up. So because our chickens are just a couple of days old, we're gonna to go to the lowest level. So I'm gonna pop that on there like that. And actually, I am doing this backwards. So you want this side down. So you want the side with the uh, little instructions and the little panel here to be down because that's your heat side. So, and you can tell too, cause you've got brackets on your mount side. So now that I've got this right, I'll pop that in there. Leave it up to me to make something more difficult that shouldn't be. So that is pretty much that simple. Take off his zip tie. And one of the good things with this, because this thing is bigger, so having this bigger tote is going to allow for a lot more room in here. I guess since our plug is on this side, we'll set it over here. I think that's too low. Well, I put a lot of shavings in there, so. <laughs> Maybe I'll put too many in there. So now I'm going to plug it in. We're going to adjust this high just because our shavings are deep. I'm going to turn this on brooder just so it'll start warming up. So now we've got this plugged up. We did have to move it to the middle setting just because our shavings are so deep, but that just took a couple of seconds. And as you can see, I've got it on brooder. This thing's just been on for a couple of seconds. I know you can't feel it there, but I can actually already feel this thing getting warm. So your next step now is just going to be to set this down in here. And now the chickens will be able to get under that and it's going to simulate what their mom would do for them. All right, so now we've got the chickens over here, as you can see, and we've got a few already of them out, but I'll show you us moving them over. And there's already been one kind of go under the little brooder thing, so that's good. And they are a little nervous. There they go. I'm trying to do them as fast as possible so we don't have any left by themselves. So as you can see, their old home fits inside of their new home, which is why we wanted to do this, to give them plenty of room. So here they all are inside of their new home, and they're a little nervous right now, but they'll calm down. You can already see they're starting to scratch around. They've got their water, they've got their food, and hopefully they'll be a lot happier in here. So we're going to continue adding on to this and we will bring you back as we add more into it and get them set up for their new place. Okay, so now that we have all the chicks in here and we're, we are using heat lights and a brooder to kind of heat them up pretty quick. But what we're going to make is a, basically a top for this with some wire cloth going across it because they're in our barn, but as you can see up here, we don't have everything sealed off right now, so I'm afraid a snake or something will come in here and get to them, weasel, whatever, and I don't want to risk anything. So we'll make a wire cloth top to go across the top of this, and we will show you that as soon as we get it ready and how it fits on here. All right, so here is our finished product. You can see the chickens are running around in here. They've got one over here eating, but now you can see their new brooder is in there and the majority of them are under there we are using a couple of heat lights tonight because it is going to get extremely cold and we just want to make sure that these chickens are going to be in good shape but something that we built was we took some one by two boards here and basically just made a frame that was a little bit bigger than the brooder you can actually see a couple of them in there playing now so it looks like they're having a good time with it and what we have done here is basically we've made a cover to cover them up. So now for sure, nothing can get down in there. No weasels, no 
snakes if there was any out here in this cold weather or whatever else but overall this went really well so this is uh, like i say now this tote that we bought is a little bit more pricey i think we paid 150 bucks for it but if you're not going to have as many chickens you can get something smaller obviously to work with and you can even build something uh, totally custom we had to do this really quick and on the fly just because it was getting cold fast and sometimes you just got to do what you got to do but overall this is our new setup we love this this will be our forever brooder we're uh, hoping that you know this will work for us going forward you hear the other chickens out there we can't wait to get these chickens over in with them but these are our 14 new girls and like i say we got 25 new ones coming around the middle of march that will be in here as well and as, as, as soon as we can we'll start rotating them all and getting them back over into the bigger coop but we're loving this and we like this setup and again this is from tractor supply it's a producer's pride i will uh, try to put something on there uh, th those cost about fifty dollars a piece so they are a little bit pricey too but i think that is great for the chicks just to have a true sort of mama's heat on them that they can go into and you know they're going to be safe and you can always tell it and the other thing that i like about having something bigger like this is they can get in the heat over here or under here but if they get hot they can also come over here and get out of it so that is something to think about when you're doing your brooder is you want to make sure they got enough room that they can fluctuate in and out of the heat so they're not always hot but thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helps some others. We love this brooder. I think it's going to last us a long time. And thank you all. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And we'll go from there. All right. Thank you all. Bye-bye.